Sky watchers this week get a chance to see the planets, the moon, and even the space station making an appearance. First up, for those early bird sky watchers, how about an observing challenge by finding Mercury? The innermost planet in the solar system is usually really hard to see because it hugs the sun so closely we lose it in our sun's glare. But on the week of January 9th, you'll have about five to seven days to look for the little Mercury in the dawn skies. Look towards the southeast horizon, very low, maybe about 15 to 30 minutes before your local sunrise. And if you have a pair of binoculars, scan that region and you'll find this faint star-like object. That in fact is planet Mercury. Now, it'll be joined by by a much brighter Venus and Saturn to the upper right in the southeast skies. Now, turning to the evening show, you'll see on Sunday night and Monday night, January 9th and 10th, a crescent moon pairing up with brilliant Jupiter. It'll be a beautiful pairing of these two celestial objects on Sunday night and Monday night. If you have a small telescope, train it on Jupiter and you'll see the four Galilean moons encircling it. Finally, the International Space Station is putting an appearance too. You'll get a chance to see this football-sized satellite zipping over your local skies maybe once or even twice a night over the course of the week of January 9th. If you want to know when and where to see the space station and other stargazing news, visit me on my website, thenightskyguide.com.